Hey guys, it is the Unpro Pro here, and let me make sure it's recording my sound because it has a tendency. Oh, cool, it is. Okay, minimize this. So, uh, I got 18 days left for the trial. I plan on uploading one video a day. I wonder if we can get this entire game done within that time limit. That would be very interesting. But I might actually call for some longer episodes. It's all up to you guys, though. I mean, I'm pretty sure some of you don't have the time to watch all this. But first, I want to I want to um, show you guys some things that people have submitted so far. Um, first are the characters. Okay, uh, okay, this is Maria. This is by, gosh, I wish I could remember her name. Oops, I was Googling how to make Windows 8 faster. Hold on. Let me, here, I'll show you really quick. Eh, advertisement, I'm gonna get sued. Okay, so, Maria was made by Carmela. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And, um, the characters in the face sets that I'm about to show you that, uh, that are not, um, Maria, are made by Fighter. So this is Maria, and then let me show you the face of Maria. Really good submission so far. There's Maria, and Fighter has made a chaser, which we're gonna, I have to re-import that actually. Hold on. Chaser. I have to re-import that and make the background transparent, like so. So, we have the chaser, which is pretty awesome. I kind of like that green glow, even though it's not supposed to be there, but I like that green glow. Uh, when we have that with an add effect, maybe, it might look interesting. But this is a really good sprite. Very amazing job. Um, he's also remade, he's made some changes to Paul. Why is it green? The world may never know. Wait, um, I think I might actually have to re-download these. No, oh, okay, that's good. Uh, he's made some changes to Paul. I'm going to have to import all these. And he's made a zombie. Make sure they're the same color. These are Those are all the Pauls, and there's a zombie. Um, sorry if you hear people screaming in the background. <laughs> so, yeah, really good artwork here by the people. You know, on, um, on YouTube. Because, well, there's going to be more characters importing as well. What? What am I saying? Broken English for the win. No, but um, there will be more. But so far, that's what we have, and they did a really amazing job so far. I'm really liking it. Alright, so, in today's episode, we are going to work on the outside. And we're going to make Jake. That's right, Jake is what it was, yeah. We're going to make Jake out here, and we're going to be like, Yo, Jake, what up? And Jake's going to be like, Oh, hi. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um. Okay, so let's put Jake like over here in the corner or something. Matter of fact. Uh, too bad we don't have any... Um, like younger sprites, but they have on they have some pre built, like this kid, for example. Uh, wait, what? Oh, he looks insane for a reason, it's on insane. People won, and we have let's make this guy Jake. Okay, so Jake be like, hmm. by the way, really fun fact you can do slash n zero zero one uh, in between the little half square things, and it'll actually. Bring up the first index name, if yeah, that makes sense. Anyways, Paul. Hold on. What are we? Um, I actually have to make that go down one because we're gonna have a face too. Oh, um, I forgot to um show you another thing about. What? Where's the faces? Yeah, he's also made faces. Fighter did, so it's kind of cool. I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna use uh, these faces. Oh, let's see the original. I just say, Oh, uh, that's a different Paul. Oh, okay, that's a different Paul. Never. <laughs> awesome. We both have a we both have a Paul. That's interesting. Pretty cool. All right. Mm, so choices. Wait, no, not show choices yet. Let's have Paul reply. I'm definitely going to use these, though. We're going to use a second Paul later on, too. Um, I don't know where I'm going to add him, but we'll, we'll take it somewhere. Okay, um, hmm. Whoa, slow down there. Give me a break. I just woke up. He's, like, saying this in a funny way, so. Hmm. 
I'm gonna add something to let that be known. There. Now, one. All right, he's like all rushing, I guess. So now you're now you're stuck with you're given a choice. On let's have Paul be like, all right, fine. Um, yeah. All right, all right. And now we're gonna make a choice. Hide and seek. Uh. Rock, paper, scissors. Did I spell scissors right? Please tell me I did. I'm really, like, tired right now. No, there's two S's. See, I knew it looked wrong. I knew it looked wrong. See, I told you I didn't spell it right. Gosh. <laughs> yeah. um, let me get a drink really quick. <laughs> Okay, choice three. Uh, I have no idea. Okay, so I got hide and seek, rock, paper, scissors. Um, okay, you know what? Um, let's disallow choice and just have those two choices for now. Now, let's end off this for a second, and we need to start on the forest, because if we're going to play hide and seek, he's going to be hiding in, in the forest, or in the house. Randomly. Actually, this could be... Hmm. We'll think of something, but for now, let's go on with the forest. I'm going to minimize this. Um, go to the main little game thing. New map, and it's going to be called Forest. Hmm. Forest entrance. What? No, not forest entrance. Eh, let's just name it forest. Exterior. And we're going to kind of use the same uh, method we did for the uh, other thing, but we need to take a look at... Okay, it ends right there. Okay, right there. What? No. Oh, man. There we go. It ends right there. I just need to get the start point. Well, you guys know how that goes by now. So, there you go. First, I'm just going to kind of start designing random, like, grass like everywhere, because all trees, they're all forest, not tall grass. It's just otherwise. Okay, well, you should know that by now. Gosh. Now, um, it's going to kind of... This might be a little bit different. Like, it's going to be a little bit harder to design an actual forest. I'm not 
machine right here to block this thing so you can't pull me. Hmm. Looking down the hill. A little bit. Ish. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of most of this grass. I'm gonna put it towards the trees. Like it's supposed to kind of look. Kind of. Eh, it's not too bad, I guess. I don't want to start placing like random grassies. Oh, oh, oh. Don't even ask if there was. Oh, I have no answer for you. What? I'm really thinking of picking. Or talking to the psychiatrist now. I'm not really. I'm gonna door slam. reason being is because banana so yeah anyways so let's do hide and seek or no let's process the rock paper scissors first hmm now how we're gonna do this is gonna kind of be interesting where's the kid at people won there you go so he's like okay and then he's like oh now, pretty much what you gotta do is control variables. Wait. Oh yeah. Um. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. We'll uh we'll do this. Control variables make variable number two equal or make it the name of it. Uh. R P S for rock paper scissors. Uh. Set random. Here we go. Z wait, uh, yeah, 0 to 2. So it can be anywhere between 0, 1, and 2. Alright. So now you're given a choice. Rock, paper, scissors. Dag nabbit. Forgot how to spell it again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's right there in front of me. I disallow. Now, um, okay, what we're going to do. So I'm trying to also kind of talk over the people yelling in the background. So like when I say, oh, for like a really long time, that's the reason I'm saying, mostly. I would turn my air conditioner on, but it picks up too much noise. No, I have choice again, I'm sorry. We're gonna do control variables and we're gonna do, copy this and just name it RPS2. Set it to zero if you chose rock. Copy that, paste it, press space to modify it. Zero, one, press space to modify it and two. Now, now we're going to do conditional branch on, actually it's going to be after this. After all, after the decisions of the rock, paper, scissors, you're going to do conditional branch. We're going to do variable RPS is equal to zero. We're not going to do an else. I'll check that. Meaning if he chose... If he chose rock and you also chose rock... You would do, it's a tie. Um, now copy that, paste it underneath that one. So then we're gonna do if is equal to one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This actually would have to be in rock after the variable control. So if it's equal to zero, it's a tie. If it's equal to one, which is paper, be like, I chose paper, Nick. -a. No, he's not gangster. Um, I chose paper. I win. Now, copy that. Go underneath that again. And if it's two, which is scissors, yeah. <laughs> Aw, darn. You win. Oh, this has to be a capital. No offense to any gangsters. No, I'm joking. Um, apply. Copy this again. Now, put it underneath the paper control variable. Just paste it. Then if it's equal to zero, which means if he chose rock, replace it's a tie with I chose paper. Wait, yeah. I went, wait, if he chose rock. Wait, what? What? I just confused myself. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. If he chooses rock and you choose paper, that's what it is. Other nipples, I got confused there. Alright, now we do... <laughs> so if he... Oh my gosh, alright. You chose paper, you chose rock. Darn it. You win. Now we're gonna do... If he, if he chose paper and you chose paper... It's a tie. And then you just say, if he chose scissors and you chose paper, I win. Yes. So copy them and go down here. So now if you choose scissors and he chooses rock, what? Rock. You'd be like, I win. Yahoo. Something different, I guess. Now we're going to do, if he chooses uh, paper and you choose scissors. Darn. I lost. And then... Hmm. Wait, what? Oh. It's a tie. So now, whatever you do, you're going to end up having to play hide and seek with it. Because that's going to be the choice that progresses the story. But it's kind of fun to play rock through so... How do you not beatbox that? Oh yeah, I should read my notes. Dag note. I saved here, like while testing it. I noticed the thing ain't flashing. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. It's a tie. See? He oh, okay, it, don't, it doesn't blink during the events. That's fine. Off tag note. Sure loves to fade though. <laughs> Darn, I lost. So now we have our own little rock, paper, scissors game going on. It's a tie. See? There we go. It didn't have fun. But you know what? We're going to have a play again question. Okay, hide and seek, rock, paper, scissors. When, when rock, paper, scissors. Hmm. Hold on. Yeah, when... Okay, when hide and seek... Okay, when rock, paper, scissors. Right underneath... Right before the branch end. Right, this one. So we have it, like, right here. We're gonna say... Play again. And you're gonna say... Oops. Hold on. Make the kid say it. And you're gonna say... Sure. Nur? No. This allowed the choice thingy my jigs. So if saying no thanks, it'll just jump straight to the end. However, we need to make a marker now. Right, put it right here. We're gonna make a label. Name it RPS for rock paper scissors. Now, right underneath, right in between where um <laughs> that. When sure, we're gonna be like, oh, we gotta jump to that label and we're gonna take a big leap towards that label. What? Not RPM. RPS. This ain't RPM networks. No, um. <laughs> okay, but no thanks. Yeah. So now, if you. I should have saved it. Why didn't I save the game? Son of a nipple. What? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock. Play again? No thanks. So I'm gonna save it really quick. There. So I, we won, sure. I'll play again. Rock. Ah, oh, darn, I won again. Yes! It's a tie. Darn, I won. Yay. It's a tie. It's a tie. Does he ever win? Yes, you won. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, you can have a little fun little game of rock, paper, scissors here. No thanks. So if you choose hide and seek, you'll see that it doesn't say the whole play again thing. Alright guys, so thanks for watching this episode, and next time we will try to go over the hide and seek part. I'll see you peeps later.